A liberal member of the Wisconsin Supreme Court says she does not plan to run for re-election. And the Biden administration is announcing student loan forgiveness for almost 300,000 more borrowers. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News. And here are today's top stories. Vice President Harris flies to Arizona today for a rally on abortion rights. She'll join others in Tucson to criticize this week's ruling by the Arizona State Supreme Court. That says a Civil War-era law banning nearly all abortions can take effect soon. Presumptive Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump said the ruling goes too far. But earlier this week, he released his position on abortion rights. Trump said then abortion rights should be left up to each state, as has happened in Arizona. In Wisconsin, a liberal member of the state's Supreme Court says she won't run for re-election. President Biden's campaign is highlighting the issue for Wisconsin voters. From member station WUWM, Chuck Quirmbach reports. Liberal justices took control of the Wisconsin Supreme Court last summer. But now one member of that majority, Justice Ann Walsh Bradley, says she is retiring when her term ends next year. During a conference call organized by the Biden campaign, Wisconsin Democratic Party Chair Ben Wickler said Bradley's announcement is a reminder that Wisconsin is still only one bad election away from an ultra-right wing abortion banning Supreme Court majority. Wickler says if presumptive GOP nominee Donald Trump wins this fall, he would put abortion rights under the control of whoever has power on the state court. The Wisconsin Republican Party says voters are tired of what it calls far-left activists on that court. For NPR News, I'm Chuck Quirmbach in Milwaukee. House Speaker Mike Johnson and Donald Trump are holding a press conference this afternoon at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort in Florida. They say they'll make a major announcement on election integrity. This comes as Johnson faces threats of being toppled from his post by members of his Republican Party. The Biden administration is announcing more student loan forgiveness for qualifying borrowers. This brings the total amount of student debt wiped out by the Biden administration to $153 billion. NPR's Sequoia Carrillo has more. Almost 300,000 borrowers will get their student debt reduced or canceled. At this point, around one out of every 10 federal student loan borrowers has now been approved for some kind of debt relief. This batch of borrowers were enrolled in public service loan forgiveness and various income-driven repayment plans. The news comes on the heels of the administration's new proposed plans to expand debt forgiveness further. If approved, it would bring the total number of Americans given student debt forgiveness under the president to 30 million. Sequoia Carrillo, NPR News. President Biden says the relationship between the U.S. and its allies in the Pacific is, quote, ironclad. Biden met yesterday at the White House with the president of the Philippines and Japan's prime minister. The three have discussed China's military actions in the South China Sea. You're listening to NPR News from Washington.